he gives you the cash, he so does give you the cash, he'll get money from his videos, he'll do what he can. My name is StarkyBooty32, and I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on communism. What do I think of it? Well guys, before we start, let me ask you something. When you hear the word communism, what comes to mind? For me, it is the Soviet Union, China, North Korea, extreme crisis, and a devastated community. As you can tell, some of those things I mentioned aren't the makings of something good. Communism isn't a good thing, and I'll tell you all why. But before I do, be sure to put down a comment below on what you think of communism, and I could reply to you. Depends how good your comment, comment is. Anyway, back to the video. Communism. According to the Oxford Digital Dictionary, is described as a theory or system of social organisation in which all property is owned by the community and each person contributes and receives according to their ability and needs. What this means is from the likes of Joseph Stalin and Kim Jong-un, communism has completely torn their nations apart without these supreme leaders realising. Some of their actions of this include taking over small nearby nations for power and starving 18 million people just to make a new and then having citizens of their own nation not own their own houses, instead have them all owned by the government, is an outrageous thing to happen. Due to those people not being able to buy their homes, unlike in capitalist countries, the governments don't receive money from home buyers and don't have any house payments to make. This is why communism is bad, because the nations could end up bankrupt and the governments would have to use all their people's money in the end in order to make something just like what Kim Jong-un did. When he received money from all his people just to build a nuke, and since all those people couldn't pay for food, this caused excess famine across the nation from 18 million people. About three quarters of North Korea's population. Another thing is how strict the internet can be in communist nations. In capitalist countries, we can buy our internet, and that money goes to the government, whereas in communist countries, the internet is owned by the government, like in China, for example, where the government can see what you're doing. But in North Korea, there's no internet at all, which saves Kim Jong-un to look at everything that's happening and receive all the money he can from the community. Another thing in communist countries is how bad all the houses look. Since there are no home buyers in communist nations and all the property is owned by the community, they lack money and architecture and have to work with what materials they have to construct. This is why, in communist and former communist nations, the houses are all ugly looking and lack architecture. Another thing that communist nations also lack is being multicultural. In capitalist countries, millions of people from all over the world come to visit. 
This is, however, the case from China and Vietnam, but barely the case for North Korea, as North Korea has no contact to the outside world, no immigrants and barely any visitors. Nobody also immigrates to communist nations, but rather flees from them instead. All these things I stated are the reasons why communism is not a good government system for any country. The people who think communism is good in the rest of the world commit treason and have deluded themselves. For example, here's a video of an American or Canadian kid who thinks that we need communism. America and Canada are capitalist countries, so he has committed a high degree of treason. Hey guys, your old pal Cenable here, and I want to make a video about why, to this day, after the time in history when, when it was founded, we still need communism. Now, for any of you who don't know, communism is the idea of a nation sharing the wealth. If I were to ever start a country with a communist government, wink, wink, wait 12 years, um, I'd probably make it, like, have these company, like, these buildings, which you can put in money for other people to have. You know, kind of a share share. Now, I know not all communist states are like this, but still, now on to why we actually need communism. Like, actually need, oh, it's cold out here. Um, I have two reasons. One, poor people, sh we really can't have poor people. It's not good for a bunch of, for like a whole class of people to be poor. People need money. We can't just let people or be around just be homeless, homeless because as they can't get jobs. Money is important, so that's another reason we need communism. He's delusional, as you could tell by what he said. He stated that it was the idea of a nation sharing the wealth, which is obviously false. That's capitalism. He also goes on to say that the houses need to be donated money, which is also false since that's what happens in capitalist countries and not communist countries. The citizens need to work for their money, and as I said, in communist nations, there are no home buyers or house payments, so yeah. And then he goes on to say that communism helps homeless people. No. There are barely any homeless people in communist countries, since as I said, the government gives people what they need for their ability and needs, and all property is owned by the government. This boy sounds like he's explaining capitalism and not communism, and he's probably in jail now for treason. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on communism, and I apologise for repetition, but let me know your thoughts about communism in the comments below, and I hope that most of you will say that communism is bad as well, because it is, and the people who think it's good are being brainwashed. So yeah, we don't need communism since it's bad, we need capitalism, which is a good idea. So help me, my fellow capitalists because we need to rule the world with our welfare 
and thank you for listening, humanity.